Hi guys, Metalhead here and today I'm bringing you a video that's a bit of a public service announcement and it's a bit of a reminder for stackers in the UK, the US and, and elsewhere um, to, to stay vigilant when they're buying their precious metals and the reason being that um, I've noticed reports on various forums of more and more fake gold and silver finding their way into circulation within the secondary market and i thought i would drop this video just to show how easy it actually is to get your hands on fake bullion and, and how easy it can be for that to then end up in your stack via the secondary market if you're not careful and you can see here i'm on alibaba's website uh, it's um, a, an e-commerce website based out of china uh, and I've already searched, you can see it at the top here, but I'll just click on that bullion bar there. And this is just an idea and, and just to give you a picture of what's actually available right now to buy, uh, predominantly from China. There are um, exporters in other areas of the world, but a lot of this is from China. And you can see straight away there, what have we got here? I can see credits, the words Credit Suisse. Um, yeah. So that's a one ounce gold Credit Suisse bar, which in pounds would be worth around 1,500-ish pounds at the moment, sterling. Um, yeah, you know, 26p to £1.45. Clearly, that is a fake bar, which are available to buy um, at, a, at a pretty, you know, um, well, very cheap um, cheap uh, barrier to entry. It's, it's very easy to get hold of these. Yeah, about a pound a pop. And you can pick these up and look again the back the back is done really well the front is done really well this isn't probably a good example of the end piece but i'm told that a lot of these are done very well um and they're hard to identify they even sometimes come with the case oh there we go um you can see these guys even they'll even send these bars out in the cases so they look like the real deal um but clearly they're not. And I think it's important that my subscribers see this um, to get an idea and to, and to raise awareness that these bars do fly around the secondary market. And here again, you can see the, an example of the Perf Mint, uh, a replica of the Perf Mint one ounce bar that they've uh, that they've knocked up. Um, again, quite worrying really seeing this. Um, but, you know, as long as you're vigilant uh, and take precautions uh, and be very, very selective and careful over trading on the secondary market, there's things you can do to protect yourself. But I think it's important to be aware that these sorts of things are out there. And look there, I mean, they even do it here within, they even put the, the fake gold and silver within blister packs, which is, you know, it's a lot of effort and a lot of work to create one of these replicas and, God, you know, on the face value, I think it might be hard to detect these. Luckily, there are things you can do to test your gold and silver, other than, of course, being very careful on the secondary market. Uh, yeah, these guys, based out of China, as you can see here, and in fact, there's a video here of what they do. Oh, so, yeah, it would appear they start with a blank slate, and perhaps they take custom orders, I don't know. Um, what's that on there? Credit Swiss, yeah, they must take custom orders. So I suppose you could put the Royal Mint on there. You could put whatever you want on there. Uh, Twenty five years they've been supplying. They send a free sample. I mean, look, you know, this is slightly concerning. Um, but I think, as I say, good to raise awareness. Let's see what else they've got in here. Is that just a one off on Alibaba? No, nope. again, there's another list in here. Same again for that kind of £1 to £2 region. And that looks like a, an end product there that's a bit more realistic of what they might look like. And you can see that's it's done to a fairly good quality, actually, if, if I'm honest, looking at it. Um, what else have we got on here? Um, okay, some more kind of novelty bars. But still, it clearly looks like they have the capability to be able to uh, customize these. And that's interesting, $470,000 plus transactions in the last five years. So this is clearly a big business and they're clearly sending these, uh, exporting these around the world. Again, another list in there with the Perf Mint at the top. Um, let's keep going, are these just one-offs? 
Look, we've got lots of different examples as we keep going down and down the list. Uh, is there any silver examples we can look at? Um, what's that? Oh, it's just a gold keychain. That's okay. Uh, I don't think anyone would mistake that for bullion. Um, what have we got? Any more? Any more for any more? Um, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Um, yeah, I mean... They're all the kind of same, aren't they, really? It looks like a lot of these are pretty much... Bes oh, hello, Scottsdale Silver. Now, that is interesting. I, I do actually stack some Scottsdale Silver. Um, I've got a, a five-ounce bar and 200-gram bars that I've talked about on my channel. And you, you, you're buying an ounce here for a quid, a pound. Uh, they, they, they would sell for about 25, 30 pounds. So clearly fake. Um, what other detail do they show? Um, so not much detail, but you can see that they are happy to export fake one ounce Scottsdale silver bars. And it's, it's interesting. They've got all sorts of information about their factory and so on. Um, I don't really, you know, I'm not sure what the deal is here with regulations and do the government not interfere. I mean, they're kind of openly doing this. Um, I don't know if it's some sort of um, perhaps they use some caveat that this is novelty only, I'm not sure. Uh, but they seem to openly um, sell these products. Anyway, um, that, you know, the purpose of this video really is just to raise awareness of actually how easy it is to get your hands on these on this fake uh, bullion. Um, as I say, there are things you can do to protect yourself. Uh, being very selective over who you're buying from on eBay, for example, or on the secondary market. And what you're buying as well. Um, these very generic bars clearly are open to uh, counterfeiting. Um, so, so be selective over who you're buying from. Be selective of what you're buying. Personally, I tend to buy direct from trusted suppliers. So in the UK, I go direct to the Royal Mint and buy, you know, on what I would call the primary market, um, direct from new. Uh, from the Royal Mint, the likes of Sharps, Pixley, Baird & Co, Atkinson, Shards, just to name a few. Um, and then I also have techniques that I use to test my gold and silver. And I know there's people that offer a service using, I don't know what the machines are called, but you, there's them machines, oh God, what are they called, where um, they, can, they can test gold and silver. I think Backyard Bullion offers that as a service, actually. Um, and I'm sure of a, um, you know, bullion dealerships would also give your gold and silver a check and in fact you know i do wonder if you went to a bullion store and you know perhaps uh mentioned that you might be interested in selling your gold or silver i'm sure they would be happy to test it too um because it would be in their interest of course to to give you a price on it um hopefully that was useful hopefully not too distressing to see um but i think it's important to raise awareness uh, of this sort of thing Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, and until next time, happy stacking.